Another thing they're waiting for in Washington, by the way, and this is a reading that could come any day now, the Supreme Court deciding uh, whether those health care subsidies that have benefited, what, seven and a half, eight million Americans who didn't have health insurance but now do have health insurance thanks to those subsidies, whether those payments that help them get that are even legal or constitutional. So ask yourself this, if the, if the Supreme Court rules likely Monday, although anything is possible, and says that, look, that, that you, you can't do it, it is unconstitutional, what happens to those subsidies? What happens to those seven and a half, eight million Americans? Kaylee McEnany has been following all of that. Kaylee, is it your sense that this is going to be the problem, that all of a sudden now the subsidies go, then we've got a real problem because that, Kaylee, gets to be the big, big problem, right? I mean, they lose that. Then, then all these people lose their insurance, and then Republicans have to do something to make good or, or prevent what the Democrats are saying will be a disaster. It would be a tremendous problem for the Obama administration, which is why it's so startling that the Obama administration hasn't come up with a plan B. Josh Ernest was asked, what's your plan if 6.4 million people lose their subsidies? Well, they, they've come back and said it's Republicans' fault for pushing us to the court, for putting us in this compromising position. Their ball. No, it's Nancy Pelosi's fault for not reading the bill and passing it to find out that there was a bad problem in it. It said that you could only get subsidies through state exchanges. There's a problem in the bill because it wasn't read. This is Obama's problem. He has to deal with it. You have to follow the law. There are rules. They have to be followed. All right. So let's say um, one idea that's been pushed around. What about a 2017 deadline? In other words, everything as is, health coverage as is, 2017. We'll deal with this then. That would obviously be a new president in, in the White House. I'm, I'm sure you're hoping a Republican. Democrats are hoping a Democrat. Uh, then what? What do you make of that? I think that's punting. You know, I think maybe a 2016 extension coupled with a, a sort of deal. So, for instance, Ron Johnson has proposed kicking it down the road, letting people keep their subsidies because the Obama administration's incompetence shouldn't be the reason that 6.4 million people lose their subsidies. But, but without subsidies, exchange, you really don't have an Affordable Care Act because the affordable then comes right out of sure. it. Sure, that's true. So I think extending the subsidies, but what Ron Johnson wants to do, I think this is fantastic, is repeal the employer mandate, repeal the individual mandate in exchange for giving the Obama administration the subsidies and the extension that they're asking for or hoping for. What if the Supreme Court rules the subsidies are just fine? I, I think that that's very likely to happen. And then, then here we It's status quo. It's status quo, and we're left right. with the same broken system. Okay. Uh, Kaylee Beckett, thank you very, very much.